Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, we are going to be checking out what Grand Theft Auto 5 characters and the city looked like in 2008. That's right, eight years ago, we're now getting some images and we can finally see what the game, what some of the characters, and what the setting looked like. So I'm well aware my good friend Zach Cox did this the other day. Some other YouTubers have touched on this. I've been having internet problems like crazy, so I wasn't able to get to this video originally, and full credit to them. I'm actually making this video on Wednesday because I'm having like people fixing my internet. It's crazy. You guys don't even want to know. As soon as I get it fixed, I'm going to start streaming again, which is what I'm working on right now. But let's stay on topic. This was found by the guys on the GTA 5 beta hunt forum page on grandtheftautoforums.com. I'll leave a link to it in the description. You can check it out there. You can look at some of the more images that have been found and whatnot. But basically what we're going to be looking at is 12 images and I'll have them on the screen right now. So these are what Grand Theft Auto 5 characters looked like in the year 2008. So again, this is absolutely crazy. This is probably when Rockstar first started working on Grand Theft Auto 5. So Grand Theft Auto 4 released on April 29th, 2008, and Rockstar likely started working on Grand Theft Auto 5, I would almost say the day after that. You guys know how big companies are or big projects with anything. After one thing's done and after you know it's gonna be successful, you gotta immediately start working on the next one because I'm sure they knew Grand Theft Auto 5 was going to take an incredibly long time and lots of effort to complete. So that's why you're obviously seeing such poor graphics, such poor images, because it's probably like the first, very, very first concepts of what Grand Theft Auto V looked like. You can see some like mountains in the background. You can see some water towers, uh, the very first structures of buildings and palm trees and rooftops. You can tell it's incredibly low detailed. Uh, my friend Zach, who I mentioned earlier in the video said, it looks like it's a blend between San Andreas and GTA 4. And I don't think he could be any more right on that. It doesn't look like Grand Theft Auto 4 graphics, but it doesn't look like it's from the 3D universe. It literally looks like a hybrid, and that's exactly what we're seeing today. So you can obviously tell just a major difference in the way these characters eventually did pan out. I don't know what I'm more impressed with, the fact that the characters look so good today or the fact that the city looks so good today. Because those palm trees and those buildings really do look like they are just the most basic and bare bones of all time. Now, this is veering a little bit off topic, but what was actually funny is Grand Theft Auto V, it became so realistic when it was created in obviously 2013, when it got updated versions in 2014 and 15. And funny enough, and I didn't want to make this into uh, its own video because it didn't need it, but there's actually a real hotel in Los Angeles, and it's actually in Grand Theft Auto 5 too. You can go there and check it out. On their website, they used a picture of Grand Theft Auto 5 as an image describing downtown Los Angeles. So that should give you a pretty good idea of how, I guess, non-gamer, non-tech people see Grand Theft Auto as that it is a realistic version of of Los Angeles in Los Santos. So I thought that was pretty cool. Let's also look at some comparison photos, if you will, uh, just checking out the background and checking out some of the faces of the characters compared to what they look like today in 2016, which is such a stress contrasting difference. It is absolutely insane. In fact, I'm not even sure if any of these NPCs are still in the game. These might have been uh, just unfinished models that were then recreated into some of the more lifelike and realistic NPC versions that we see today. So I don't even know if you can go around Los Santos and find them. I'm pretty sure they're, you know, already recreated NPCs. So it's crazy to see just how far Grand Theft Auto V has gone from 2008 to when it was released for the 360 and PS3 in 2013, to the upgrades it got in 2014, to the PC version it got in 2015. It's crazy what eight years will do and will allow a game developer to accomplish, which is absolutely nuts. Something else that's really interesting regarding older versions of Los Santos and Grand Theft Auto V being found can actually be found in Max Payne 3, which is a third-person shooter game that's been developed by Rockstar. One of the best games of all time. If you haven't played it, I definitely recommend you pick it up. I think all of Rockstar's games
games are on sale right now. I have no clue on what site or whatever, but I think they're on sale so you can grab them then. There was this advert in Max Payne 3. This was found by Spider Vice on the GTA forums. So it's a lipstick cosmetic advertisement with some lady staring at us. But more importantly in the background, you might recognize that because that's Los Santos. That was found in Max Payne 3. And Max Payne 3 was released on May 15th, 2012. So that was even like a year and a half before Grand Theft Auto V came out on the 360 and the PS3. So even that was probably a huge beta version because if they were building that into Max Payne 3, they were likely creating that in 2008, 2009, 2010. So again, that is another very early image of what Los Santos looks like in game. You can obviously see the Arcadius Business Center. You can see the Mays Bank building. You can see the building with the crane hanging over it. I'm pretty sure that's the FBI building or FIB building, IAA as well. There's a lot of recognizable landmarks here. And who knows, that might have been the only part of Los Santos they had finished at that time. Because if you look down towards where the white line is, it gets kind of fuzzy. Like you can't make out a lot of details. So maybe Rockstar built the buildings first, kind of like from the top up and then started working on the roads and streets and whatnot. That might have been something they were doing all the way back in 2012 and maybe even earlier than that. So once again, I'll leave a link to the GTA forum site that I'm using in the description if you're really curious about looking at more of the pictures in detail or looking at an individual shot, uh, you definitely can and you can check that out. I've always found it interesting to go back and look at Grand Theft Auto 5 and what it previous was. You guys know I've done videos like GTA 5 2013 versus 2016 where we, we were able to look at some of the early map creations and how it's changed all the way from then. So I always think this is really cool and whenever new discoveries like this are made, I always like to do them. So as always, let me know what you think in the comments section down below. What do you think of early Los Santos and early GTA 5 all the way back in 2008? which is totally nuts. Uh, if you did go on to enjoy this video, a like rating would of course be awesome. And as always, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. I'm trying to get my internet fixed up so that I can live stream for you guys. Hopefully that's happening right now as this video is going live on my channel. But without the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.